what up YouTube hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel I'm Sherry thank you so much for being here today it is a dreary rainy Sunday mid-morning and I just decided it was time for me to do my makeup discovery video for August I have just recently gotten back to work it has not been a smooth transition it's been very difficult to make that adjustment this time but we hit the road running so I may look a little haggard but I have a bunch of different things that I would like to try today some are just going to be my regular products and others are going to be a spearmint trial basis or things that I just haven't given much love to that I want to give another chance to so we're just gonna dive in and see what we come up with so if you'd like to hang out with me while I get ready then please keep on watching one thing that I have not given much love to is the elf poreless putty primer it is supposed to be a dupe for the Tatcha I don't know what it's called Talk to primer that's too expensive that I'd never pursued and so I'm gonna give this one a try today I've used it a couple times but just didn't really pay close attention to the results I'm also gonna go in with the Smashbox so chill coconut scented primer water I use this in the summer I'm about to use it up which makes me sad because this was limited edition but I've got another one in there that's like serene greens or something like that so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on I did concentrate that in my t-zone because that's where I need the help with pore filling I also wanted to say excuse my nails they're in terrible shape but I am in between application of um, falsies and so I'm gonna actually film that today so I wanted to leave them off I've left the nails off for a few days now and actually a whole day which is a lot for me because I can't really stand to look at them or feel them but that will be upcoming um, a nail application video as a request from one of my friends okay let's go ahead and go in with the coconut so gel coconut primer water next I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place uh, I am magic foundation I'm not sure about the shade on this I know I've used it once or twice I got it in my birthday shopping extravaganza haul if you haven't seen that then I will link it up there for you it's probably a long time past now I have been doing mostly pre filmed videos just because of my busy schedule but I'm gonna go ahead and give this a shot I know this is a very thick full coverage foundation and so I'm gonna to try to get away with less and I'm going to use one of these paddle brushes I haven't used one of these in a long time so I want to see how that will do with this really kind of highly concentrated foundation Not sure about the color on this it looks a little yellow I did get color matched when I was in um, Ulta but I don't know it's one of those things that I don't think it's so bad that I won't be able to work with it so I'm gonna go ahead and use a damp beauty blender with just a little bit more on my hand to kind of fill in the gaps I do have some blemishes that this didn't cover completely so I kind of want to concentrate it there and just kind of smooth it out and work it into the skin a little bit better. I still don't feel like those got covered up enough but I am going to use some concealer on those. I'm going to go in with Benefit Erase Paste for some color correction. first time I've ever done that with a sponge I kind of like the way that it had kind of pushed it into the skin a little bit more it feels like it's kind of worked in instead of sitting on top of the surface so I'm gonna let that sit there for a minute 
Um, just a little update. Like I said, I'm back to school and the reason it was kind of a tough transition is because I've had a lot of health issues this summer. I was very anemic. My white blood cell count is low. I had a potassium deficiency. Um, I've had all kinds of stuff. I'm still pursuing help through some different doctors and specialists so any prayers would be appreciated in that regard. Um, but that's probably why I'm not looking my best. My eyes are super dark underneath and so I really feel like I need that correction. But I just, ordinarily I spend probably at least a week, a week's worth of days going into my classroom and getting everything ready so whenever I return to work everything is already done. And this year every time I got ready to do it I just didn't feel well and I was just too tired and just too sick to go and so I felt really pressured and very overwhelmed um, but everything got done with the help of my parents and my friend Becky and also um, you know it's just one of those things you just do what you have to do and you get it done the first two days were chaos like they always are but I made it through and I have rested a lot this weekend and hopefully I will be refreshed to go back and go back at it tomorrow we shall see I'm going to go ahead and use my Revolution Conceal and Define to, since it's such a good color, I uh, really like to use this for blemishes because it really matches my skin, usually my foundation very well. And these ones here on my chin line and neck are still hanging on for dear life and I just do not know why they won't go away. But until they do we're going to pretend like they're not there. And for my under eye concealer, I haven't tried this combination yet, so I wanted to do that today. This is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, which is kind of a drier formula and kind of darker of the two, and the Jouer, which is very emollient and very light. So I'm going to combine these two and see if I can get a good combination. I'm going to set with my regular Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I really wish there was a way to use these kind of powders without spilling so much out every time you open and close it it's like ah oh, this is so expensive and I'm wasting so much of it it's just sitting here on my table <laughs> for setting my face I'm going to use this very cool Becca um, Hydra Mist set and refresh powder this is so cool I got this in BoxyCharm and it feels wet going on and it dries down or it doesn't even dry down because it's not wet it just feels wet and it's it's a dry it's a matte finish I can't get that out it's a matte finish though it is super weird and it feels really nice and really strange all at the same time and I love it so it comes in this little container that needs to stay shut it says to keep me cool or to keep me closed to keep me cool and it's got a little sifter in there and I do put it on with my beauty blender and then go over it with a brush but it feels so cool. <laughs> Let's drop it on my nose. It is like so it feels so wrong to be putting a matte powder on your face and it feels wet but it is a beautiful finish. For bronzer, I've returned to an old favorite, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I am still working on a sample, even though I have a full size. It still smells delicious. And then I use that kind of as the contour, and then I blend it out with the, the lighter shade of Butter Bronzer. To apply that, I was using my Multitask Brush by 
Real Techniques and then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. complexion brush to put on the butter bronzer and I kind of like to put that through my cheek area um, just to kind of put some, whoa, put some color back in my face um, because this foundation is looking a little bit light to me. For blush, I've really been enjoying a new to my collection uh, palette from Tarte. It's a Tarte blush palette and it is called Bless, Blush Bliss. And it's got four different colors. And I really love this one and this one. And I kind of sometimes just kind of go across all three and um, kind of make a mix. I think I'm going to mix these two today. I've really been making an effort to use palettes <laughs> and face palettes in particular because I have so many and I just really rarely ever reach for them. Whenever I did my reorganization, I just put a few of each thing in my drawers and it's about time for me to move on to doing a shop my stash and I'll do a video when I do that and just kind of changing some things out in an effort to use my collection. For highlighter, I'm going to use my old favorite holy grail which is Mary Luminizer by The Balm. This was one that I just bought a replacement for at my birthday and um, because one that I had got broken when I was doing makeup at a wedding it got knocked off and it's just so beautiful. It's, it's kind of subtle compared to some of the ones I use regularly now but it's still so gorgeous. If I'm not mistaken this was my very first highlighter. So I've been really stuck on MAC Paint Pots for my eye primer and so I decided I was going to do something different today. I do have this P. Louise base in Rumor 02 and I'm going to try that today. It is super sticky and so I normally set it. I think I'm going to lightly set it because if I don't I just have trouble with blending and today I don't, I feel like a no nonsense look today. As for eyebrows, I've kind of been sticking with what works, which is my NYX Micro Brow and then I use the inky side of the Brow Blade by Urban Decay for my little hair strokes. Um, my Too Faced powders, my Brow Envy powders, and my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and do that probably the majority off camera. Maybe I'll do one on camera and then the other off. But do any of you watch Big Brother? I have like nobody to talk about Big Brother with. And so there's probably going to be some spoilers here if you haven't watched it yet and you're going to skip this part. But I have really enjoyed it this time. I always do. It's like you know drama filled and I like the competition part of it and I like the social game part of it and I really wanted Sam to win he was the one that I picked from the beginning but he's already been evicted and so now I'm kind of pulling for Cliff and Nicole I always pull for the underdogs I always pull for the um, the nerdy ones or the old ones or the out of shape ones I also like um, Jessica because she's a plus size model and she's really pretty and soft hearted and so I'm pulling for those people I always kind of hardly ever pull for the beautiful people I always pull for the underdog because I'm always the underdog um, but it's really been fun to watch and so that's kind of been something for me to look forward to so if you watch Big Brother tell me tell me who you want to win and tell me what you think I kind of um, feel a little bit good about Mickey again at first I just thought oh my gosh he's a pompous AWS but um, he's kind of been humbled recently and I kind of like the humbled version of him but if you watch Big Brother tell me what you think about it this season I have really enjoyed it it's been one of my favorites I've really enjoyed it. Oh, and I really like, um, I don't know why when I start talking about it I forget names. I really like Tommy. I do not like Christy. Christy gets on my last nerve. She cries all the time. She drives me insane. 
I do not care for her. She's on the block right now and I hope that she is going to get evicted this week. That's my hope and my wish. And I hope that one of my underdog gals or guys um, get HOH this week. So, alright, let's get on with the brows. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just show you the strokes on both eyes that I do with this inky pen and then I'll go ahead and do the rest off camera. I have some eyebrows. I got some eyebrows. <laughs> okay, so I couldn't decide what I wanted to do for my eyeshadow palette. I've been pulling out all my old loves or ones I haven't tried in a long time. So I pulled this out and when I opened this, this is the Dose of Colors Desi Katie Friendication Palette. and. I don't think I've ever used it. It's really pretty and I could go super bold or I could go super subtle and I think I'm going to go for the super subtle and this is the reason. I got these M5 lashes, M5 lashes and these are magnetic lashes you guys and for those of you that have been with me for a really long time I had the worst experience with magnetic lashes of life and I will link the video up here it was like struggle bus deluxe by the end of it I was so frustrated and I wanted to throw them across the room and I might have it was not a good experience and so I'm very hesitant to do this but I was very intrigued by the idea of the eyeliner being magnetic and not having to put two magnetic lashes together. So this is what the set looks like. It's presented very beautifully. It has a little metal applicator which is interesting to me because I don't know how a magnetic lash is going to come off of a, mag a metal applicator but we shall see. And then we've got the eyeliner. I'm a little nervous about the brush just because I'm so used to using a very rigid, not rigid, but flexible brush tip pen. But I will explain a little more once I get these lashes out. They're presented very beautifully in a little compact and these are super dramatic. But they're really pretty. But my friend Courtney also reviewed this set, but she got a different set of lashes. Hers were a little bit more every day, uh, but she did something that I think is a really good idea, and that is she put regular eyeliner down and then put the magnetic eyeliner over it. And I think that's a really good idea because then I can be, I can have my outline and I can just kind of fill it in with the magnetic liner right near my lash line where I'm going to put the lash and so here's the thing I think I'm going to go with something pretty simple with the eye because I want to be able to really see where the eyeliner is I don't want it to be buried under some really dark shadow so I'll probably go pretty simple with the neutrals there's some really pretty neutrals in here so I'm going to go for it and we'll see if I can figure out the shade names. They're on the back and somehow that always throws me off. You guys know I have an issue with shade numbers or names, knowing which one is which. But I think we've got Basic, Cheens, Necessary, Girl Buy. Those are probably the ones I'm going to use. Anyways, I'll let you know. I'll point to it at least <laughs> and show you which one I'm using.
broke your heart And ever since that day, boy You ain't been the same, no I played my part Did everything to love you Thinking you'd change Maybe you got your issues And I have no regrets Anything concerning you and me It was a lesson Wow, that champagne color. Um, just a kiss. Whew, that is so pretty. That would be beautiful just spread across the lid with some really big eyelashes just as a barely there look. Oh, that would be beautiful. All right, I'm going to go under my lash line with just this pinky color. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. I like that. But it's just some things you gotta love in this game of love. Oh, you hurt me first. So you gotta make it up. I'm gonna blow that out a little bit with this lighter color. All right, so much for a uh, basic, not dramatic eye look. My bad. <laughs> I'm gonna use Mary Luminizer for my inner corner. Maybe a little on my brow bone. All right, I'm gonna do just a little more blending with a bare brush. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. Since I'm basically going to be doing two eyeliner applications, I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and use my IT Superhero Liner and then I'll come back and we will try the magnetic stuff. I'm also gonna go ahead and size the lashes so that save a little bit of time. I don't know what's wrong with my mouth and why it won't say the things that I'm trying to say, but you get it. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with some eyeliner on. Now I'm gonna try to go over it with this and just try to get it real concentrated, real close to my lash line. I feel like maybe I ought to do two layers. I did want to say that I will link this down below if you're interested, if it ends up turning out well for me. There are some tips on the back of this little card that comes with it. It says, shaking the bottle before use and seal the bottle in time after use, use I'm assuming the liner. Make sure um, that you passed the allergy test. Uh, we're going to live dangerously today. It says performance will be better if you can put on the eyelash before the eyeliner dries completely and refine the eyeliner line also will perfect the performance. So I guess put on the liner, stick on the lash and then maybe put some over it to perfect it. Don't get it in your eyes. <laughs> so let's just go for it. I'm going to go ahead and just use try to use this and see if it works. If it doesn't, then I'm going to go in with my regular tweezers. But I'm going to really clean off the brush so that there's not a ton of product on there. I don't want to mess up everything. So we're just going to go in right next to the lash line. Alright, let's see what happens. I'm going to try to keep the applicator far out from the magnetic part. Well, I'm trying to. <laughs> okay, here we go. I 
I just realized I didn't put on any mascara. I mean, they're there. I feel like I, I mean, they feel secure. Uh, this is interesting. It feels very light. It feels like it's not even there. I'm going to pull this off. It came off really easily. I'm going to go ahead and put on a second layer. Um, I need to put on some mascara. I'm going to put on some mascara first. Then I'm going to put on a second layer and put it, put it on again. It's a pretty lash. This is Bad Gal Bang, by the way. I really like this. All right, back at it. I'm gonna go ahead and put on a second layer of this. And stick it on while it's still wet. Well, they're stuck. They're stuck. And I think that's pretty. So I'm going to quick go through and do the other one. I'll probably do the same thing. Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to put down one layer, let it dry a little, put down another, and then go in with the lash. It's on. I I don't know you guys. Um, I like it. It's neat. It really is. I don't feel like I need to go back over the lashes really. I mean as far as adding more. I am going to kind of blend with my mascara. Even though I don't really want to get this. I'm going to stick really close to my natural lash. What do you think? I think they look pretty good. All right, so I need to figure out something to put on my lips. I don't really have anything new that... Okay, I have been wanting to try this, uh, the Balm Jour again. I got these as an add-on on an Ipsy Plus, and I don't even remember how it performed, what it looked like, or anything like that. And this is the shade... This is the shade, I don't know. This is the shade Namaste. Namaste, I think that's how you say it. I am gonna use one of my old favorites. It is the uh, Rimmel Exaggerate in Enchantment for my lip liner. I like this color. I think if I remember correctly, <laughs> if I remember correctly, these are a gloss that turns into a stain. Uh, it was a little streaky, but it's still a really pretty color and I think I can make it work. I feel like I need to go fix it a little bit though. That corner is giving me trouble, guys. All right, I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. Let's go ahead and spray my face with some, oh no, I'm gonna have to wait on what I was getting ready to grab. 
Let's do some Glam Glow Glow Setta. And that smells good. Alright, I am going to go put on some clothes for my next videos and then I'll come back and we'll be out of here. I'm like looking to see if that magnet's still attached. It's hard to see through the ginormous lash. I guess it is. It's still attached, you guys. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, I'll be right back. Alright guys, that's it for me. This is the final look. I guess I will know when I take the pictures if the eyelashes look wonky on the lash line. It's really hard for me to tell because I can't see through them because they're giant. But we'll figure it out. But thank you so much for joining me today for my makeup discovery for August 2019. I'm pretty happy with what's on my face. I really think the eyes turned out pretty. The lippy will see if it stays where it's supposed to be and what the stain looks like afterwards. Um, I'll let you know if I have any reaction at all to the magnetic eyeliner or if they fall off or give me any kind of trouble, but I, they feel secure, so that's pretty cool, and I'm kind of excited about that, so that might be an easy way to get some lashes on. It has to be easier. The only thing that I am wondering, though, is if other magnet, magnetic lashes, like the ones that I threw away, would work with this magnetic lash liner or if I need these particular lashes. The dogs outside are having a barking contest, so sorry about it. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed your time here. I always enjoy my time here with you. I am going to go get some nails on because I can't stand the way these look. They're driving me crazy. So I'll see you in my next video. Take care and God bless. Bye guys. For bronzer, I've returned it. I have returned it. Did. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that. Since I am gonna do kind of two eyelash. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.